Okay, now it's just a z all z zero one. Okay, it must be going. I don't see a green light though. It's filming. So say hi. Hi. Okay. I got it. Father, father. You got it working. It's videotaping right now. You're on videotape. Oh, we are. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we better, you know, we've had so many near-death experiences that uh, I really shouldn't be standing because anything could happen at any minute, so I want to be laying down when I drop dead. Well, let's go. So I have wrote down some of the near-death experiences I've had. And gonorrhea is one of them. I want to ask you out there, is this a question, is this divine intervention or just plain dumb luck? When you reach the ripe old age of 80 and have had as many near-death experiences, you have to begin to wonder if someone could have this much luck. Why then have I never won the lottery? Can I waste one of these nine lives on winning the lottery to luck? Or should I screw around with the wasting it on living? After all the tickets I have bought, I should have won the lottery. Following are my close calls with death, so I'll let you make up your mind. You, you the audience. I was born premature, weighed two and a half pounds, on a farm. No doctors within a hundred miles of us. I was only two and a half pounds, so they had to keep, they didn't have incubators in those days. This was 1933. She built a fire and stuck me in the oven. I think somebody told her she thought it was Thanksgiving, but no, that's not it. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. At age nine, I had a serious appendicitis attack, in which the doctor said five more minutes and uh, the appendix would have burst and I would have died. And Jim wouldn't be here, and then my grandson Jordan, who wants to do all this stuff, wouldn't be here. There was so many people that wouldn't be here if I wasn't here. At age 13, I jumped off a garage roof into a snow pile and just missed landing on a rake buried in the pile of snow. Shit. Now, if no. I, true, if I, if I would have hit that, that's number two. 19, I was in a car with two other inebriated soldiers. We were in the army. The driver lost control. Going 80 miles per hour, the car rolled over. We were thrown out of the car and all survived. The ambulance driver told me uh, five more feet, the car would have landed on top of me and squished me like a bug. That's, that's coming close. And you wouldn't be here again. No. You wouldn't be here. <laughs> At age 22, I had a, 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 a garage apartment with a, a wall gas heater in the middle of the night, a picture fell off the wall over my head. Hit me and woke me up. The apartment was full of gas. Sure death if I have not woken up. In 2008, at age 75, I had a near fatal heart attack. Fortunately, we had a merchant marine who knew CPR and, uh, and uh, by the time the EMTs got there, he had defibrillated me several times for the EMPs to take over. The doctors told my family they didn't think they could save me, but if they did, I'd have brain, brain damage. Most of the family thinks I do have brain damage. Just a little bit. So that, uh, the doctor was right about that one. <laughs> At age 78, I was having a routine kidney exam with a, a urologist. He said the x-ray showed an abdominal aorta aneurysm. If not found by accident, uh, it would have burst, ruptured, and killed me. At age 79, I had another heart attack, which my pacemaker did its job and saved my life. It did what you did. Now you're eating lunch at Jerry's Deli, right? I didn't, I'm not giving any free ads here for Jerry. Oh, okay. Yeah. No one. This is not a commercial. Have I used my nine lives, or will my luck hold out and let me go for ten, or have I used up all my divine interventions? You be the judge. So what do you, what, what's your message? My message is, 
join my team and maybe you'll be lucky too and live to be 80. So any other message you want to give the world are you done? I think the only thing I have left to say is by the time my father was 25 his head was like a cue ball. Didn't Not have, you. I didn't have a hair in it. <laughs> Look at all the hair I got at 80. 80. So is, are they giving me all this hair and saving my life? Or is <laughs> that the trade that I'm making? And if it is, I don't like it. So there, I don't want it. All right. End of story. No, no more, more lives. No more lives? <laughs> all right. Wait. Wait, I'm coming back. Now, when can we see this? Uh, Jordan's gonna edit it and put music to it and everything oh, and make yeah, it really yeah. fancy and then uh, he'll, we'll send it to you. That's funny. He'll probably get to it this week. You know, Jordan, I felt bad. I, I didn't want to do it. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, the only time I feel okay is when I'm laying down serious. Yeah, I know. When I stand up and I get more like, you know, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, there's another thing I didn't tell you. I've been, did I tell you about the seizure pills I've been taking? We're going to keep an eye on it. I wish you'd keep two eyes on it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I want to see if Mom wants to get in on this. Hello. Hi. Do you want to say anything? No, I'm no good at that. You, you sure? There was one last thing I just wanted to mention. One other thing. They are going to start physical therapy because they're ruling out all the things why this is happening. You know, I'm dizzy and I'm right. and I have no energy on it. And I am going to start physical therapy and who knows they ever had this on the inner ear. I said, they have, said the neurologist, did physical therapy for the inner ear? He said, they do. They can do exercises on it. Put stuff. your ear on a treadmill or something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably run faster than I can right now. Yeah. What about your inner brain? <laughs> My inner well, they do have uh, exercises for the brain. The, yeah. That's true. That's right. They do. But this is for the inner ear. And so, anyway, that's the end of the story. Okay. It's good to see you're up out of bed. Well, I just did it for Jordan. I know Jordan's been wanting to do this, and I thought I'd come to you call you when I feel like I'm up to it. He says, how about this? He says, I'm coming out there and working in the valley a lot of times. So I'll call you to see if you're up to it. And he never has. So so this worked out all right. All right. And uh, Thank you, sir. Jim, do you want this? Love you, Dan. Oh, happy, you know what, Dad? I actually wrote you a letter. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Father's. Father's. You wrote a letter? Yeah. Oh. Can I go uh, take a look?